Hello friends. Welcome to my channel for Medicos. Today I am here with information on an rare interesting disease Hutchinson Guilford progeria syndrome or simply known as progeria. Before starting, I will request you to subscribe, share and hit the bell icon for more such videos. Cause Hutchinson Guilford progeria syndrome, HGPS, is caused by a single nucleotide substitution in the gene LMNA. The LMNA gene on chromosome 1Q encodes prelimin A. Prelimin A is ultimately converted to lamin A, a structural protein component of the nuclear lamina that stabilizes the nuclear membrane. Pathogenic variants of LMNA cause a group of degenerative disorders known as laminopathies, which include Hutchinson Guilford progeria syndrome and at least 12 known diseases. Clinical manifestations Children affected with Hutchinson Guilford progeria syndrome appear normal at birth, but the clinical manifestations become apparent in the first few years of life. These include failure to thrive, dermatologic, audiologic, dental, ophthalmologic, musculoskeletal, neurologic abnormalities, and eventually life limiting cardiovascular disease. Despite adequate caloric intake, Young children with HGPS have growth impairment, resulting in poor weight gain, short stature, and loss of subcutaneous fat. Sexual maturation is absent in most patients. Facial appearance Children with HGPS develop a characteristic facial appearance that includes circumoral cyanosis, prominent eyes, thin, beaked nose, micronathia, retronathia thin lips, loss of eyebrows, and prominent scalp veins. Skin The skin changes include atrophy and dryness, with areas that appear taut and sclerotic and areas of laxity and outpouching, reticulated hyperpigmentation interspersed with hypopigmentation, and dimpling and mottling, especially over the abdomen and thighs. Young children with HGPS develop alopecia and dystrophic fingernails and toenails. Musculoskeletal findings include progressive joint contract years, decreased joint range of motion, fingertip tufting, osteoarthritis, coxa valga, and a wide based stance and shuffling gait. Endocrinologic abnormalities include decreased bone mineral density, lipodystrophy, and insulin resistance. Neurologic findings include intracranial and superior cervical arteriopathy, with evidence of early and clinically silent stroke seen in children as early as 5 to 10 years of age. Cognitive development and intellectual function are normal, and there is no evidence of dementia from limited autopsy studies. Cardiovascular findings include reduced vascular function with age and progressive atherosclerosis, resulting in premature death from myocardial infarction or, less frequently, stroke, despite a lack of typical cardiovascular risk factors, such as elevated cholesterol and C-reactive protein. Dental findings in children with HGPS include hypodontia, most often missing the second premolas, ogival arch, steep mandibular angles, ankyloglossia, dysmorphic teeth, delayed tooth eruption, and double rows of teeth. Otologic abnormalities include small or absent ear lobules, stiff auricular cartilages, and hypoplasia of the external ear canal soft tissue, leading to shortened canals. Audiologically, patients with HGPS have low-frequency conductive hearing loss. Ophthalmologic issues include hyperopia, nocturnal logothalmus, and corneal dryness. Laboratory and Imaging Findings Hutchinson Guilford progeria syndrome is associated with several laboratory and imaging abnormalities, including decreased serum leptin levels, insulin resistance in up to one half of patients, decreased bone density. Radiographic findings of acroosteolysis, clavicular resorption, and coxa valga. Other routine laboratory studies are generally unremarkable. 
mild elevations in platelet and prolonged prothrombin time have been reported. Management There is no definitive disease-modifying therapy for Hutchinson-Gilford progeria syndrome. Management is supportive and involves ensuring optimal nutrition, monitoring of disease progression, and treatment of complications as they present. A nutritional assessment, plotting of weight height on growth charts, and frequent small meals to increase maximize calorie intake are recommended. Attention to adequate oral hydration is important. The primary concern in patients with HGPS is accelerated progressive atherosclerosis leading to myocardial infarction, transient ischemic attack, and stroke. The cardiac and neurologic status of the patient should be investigated, even in asymptomatic patients, at least once a year. Cardiovascular assessment should include electrocardiogram, blood pressure measurement, lipid profile testing, and echocardiography. Neurologic evaluation should include brain and neck magnetic resonance imaging or magnetic resonance angiography and carotid duplex scans to assess vascular status. Skeletal radiographs are recommended after initial diagnosis. Dual energy X-ray absorptiometry, DEXA, for assessment of bone mineral density is recommended annually. Given the joint contract years associated with HGPS, standard goniometry for assessment of joint mobility is recommended, as is routine physical and occupational therapy. Routine dental evaluation, every six months, is recommended, with attention to the possible need for extraction of primary teeth to prevent overcrowding. Ophthalmology evaluation is recommended annually to assess for possible exposure keratopathy. Patients with HGPS may benefit from the use of eye drops for corneal dryness and nighttime use of moisturizing ointment for nocturnal logothalamus. Audiology evaluation is recommended annually to assess for possible low-frequency conductive hearing loss and consideration of hearing aids if needed. Genetic counseling Families may benefit from genetic counseling to discuss recurrence risk. Prognosis Patients with classic Hutchinson-Gilford progeria syndrome develop progressive atherosclerosis, generally leading to death from myocardial infarction or stroke at the age of approximately 15 years. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe.